Hi everyone, I'm going to teach you how I make my delicious smoked fish sauce. This fish sauce is so delicious, you're going to want to slap somebody. <laughs> Please don't slap anybody, but you get the drift. It is so, so good. But before we move on, have you subscribed to my channel? Please do so like right now. It's absolutely free and I want to have you in my community. All right, to so go ahead and do so. My name is Ify and welcome to my kitchen. Before we go right into it, let me introduce you to the ingredients. So we're going to be using an assortment of peppers. We're using green bell peppers, red bell peppers, which you can also substitute with um, tatashe, like I have tatashe here, some cayenne pepper, and scotch bonnet peppers. These are all the peppers we're doing. This too is going to be spicy hot, but not so hot, so don't worry, you'll enjoy it. We're also using onions, lots of onion. We'll be using smoked panla fish. Yeah, this is what the panla fish looks like. It is hake fish that has been smoked to perfection. It tastes so good. We're going to be using fish powder, shrimp seasoning, some salt, vegetable oil, and some palm oil. Very few ingredients. And oh, I'll be adding eggs. Now these are optional, but I recommend it. So the first step is to clean your peppers. Take your tatashe or red bell pepper and remove the seed. The seed, these peppers. Um, if you're using tatashe now, those seeds could um, lend some bitterness to your sauce, which you don't want. So take the time to remove all the seeds and all those whitish parts in your um, tatashe, get rid of everything do so to all the tatashes you'll be using, all right? Then once you're done, just set it aside. We'll use them later. Now, once you're done the seeding everything, give it all a good rinse and then get ready to blend them. I'm using my food processor because I don't want uh, my peppers to be, to be very smooth, okay? And this is the blade I'm using, the knife blade, because I'm going to chop them, but chop them into little bits. If you're using a blender, use the pulse function. You don't want your peppers smooth at all, okay? For this recipe, smooth is a no-no, right? So just put all your peppers in your food processor. They may not, you know, all go in at once. That's fine. Do them in batches like I'm going to do mine. All right. So just put it in and then blend them or, you know, process them into chopped bits. Now that I'm done with all the peppers, I'm just going to pour them in a bowl and mix them together. Remember I did them in batches, so you know, just mix everything together and set it aside. The next step is to put a clean pot on the fire, add some palm oil, add some vegetable oil. Yes, we're using a mix of both oil, not for any reason, just that it's going to give it a particular taste that you want. Trust me, don't miss this. This is, this is what you want to do, okay? A good mix of the palm oil and vegetable oil makes your sauce, you know, it just takes it from here to there. So don't skip this part. Allow your oils get really hot, almost like you've bleached the oil. Okay, but not quite, but you get what I mean. Just look at the color, something like that till it's really, really hot. Then add in your onions. Yes, more onions. I know. Remember I said this recipe uses a lot of onions. Onions is very delicious, you know, I love it. So add in your processed peppers, okay, add them in. Give everything a good mix and allow it to fry. It's really a simple recipe. Very, very simple and quick, you know. 
um so guys if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel i really want you to do so come on join us i upload um i upload a video at least once every week you know so just join this community have fun and become a great cook yes i'm saying it with my full chest become a great and amazing cook only and only if you join this community thank you so just you know give everything a good mix keep it allow it to cook for a while and after a while come back stir it you don't want it to burn you know so don't move away don't move too far away let it cook for a while come back stir do some things come back stir again now did you see that the oil has stir floating on top yes that is a good sign that your peppers are getting there okay so now i'm adding my fish powder now, uh, guys please don't miss this one the fish powder is amazing really really good i added my shrimp seasoning and i added some salt as well i'm going to give everything a good mix right our sauce is almost done this one is really fast and easy just give it a good mix okay and allow it cook for a few more minutes before we introduce our fish okay now it is time to put in your panla. amazing this fish is good now what I did was to clean it with some salt and some warm water, okay? Washed it and cleaned it thoroughly before adding it into my sauce. I also added um, some water just to loosen up the sauce a bit. It was a little too thick for me, so I added some water to do that. And then I'm mixing everything in very gently, very gently. You don't want the fish to scatter. Remember I said the boiled eggs at the beginning were optional? yes well i don't know it just makes it look a lot more interesting so i'm adding in boiled eggs it just makes it look nice you know your egg and your fish maybe it's just my own thing so if you don't want it by all means skip it but i really really like it so i've added boiled eggs in i'm giving everything a good mix then i'm going to cover it and allow it to simmer on low heat for about eight to ten minutes you know to allow the sauce get into the fish after 8 to 10 minutes, I'm back. It looks good and I'm adding a fimi. This is the killer, guys. This is so good. Don't miss this one. Okay, so add your a fimi. I know I omitted to um, let you know in the beginning that I'll be using a fimi. Pardon the omission. So once you add the a fimi, turn off your heat. Your sauce is done. Brilliant, delicious, easy sauce. It is, it's amazing. Now you can eat this with anything. With your beans with your pasta with rice with yam anything this sauce is so good and it's so versatile this is something you always want to have in your freezer okay so whenever you want a different taste or you have guests over this is something you want to give them because trust me they're not used to this one in their houses so they'll thank you for it yeah so this sauce is great if you've enjoyed my video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, don't forget to like, to comment, to share this video, and of course, to subscribe. God bless you all. Till I come your way some other time, keep being good. Bye.